Hey, what is going on? It's your girl, Miss Straight Talk, No Sugar Added. And since today is Wednesday, I'll call this a wait in Wednesday. So if you have been following me for the past week or so, you've noticed that I've been talking about forgiveness. Um, and I always have to kind of give this caveat, you know, things that I talk about or share on my social media page aren't always personal, but they are tools that I've used to help me to progress each and every day in my life. So I feel that there's a nugget in there that can be shared with you. So talking about unforgiveness and unforgiveness, if I have to describe it, the best way I have to describe it would be is if you're looking at a ton of bricks that is resting on you and whatever the offense was or whatever happened in life, you just find it so difficult to release forgiveness. And what you're looking at are styrofoam bricks. There's styrofoam bricks that's on you, but it's not the weight that's kind of really got you. It's what you see. You see that they haven't apologized. You see that they're acting a way that you feel that they shouldn't be acting or they're, they're, they're not acting the way that you think that they should be acting. So it's, it's a perception. It's your perception of the offenders, your perception, and not in a bad way, of the grievance. There are things that happen to us that are, are no fault of our own. But what we do have the power to do, we do have the power to um, thrust those styrofoam bricks off of us and live our best life. Those bricks are weighing us down from um, having good relationships. It could be weighing us down from our health because unforgiveness is tied into stress and stress is tied into some of our illnesses. And when all of those things get bottled up into a certain pocket of our system, of our body, that's where it rests. I always talk about, you know, as women, we have to think about, you know, we have a womb and our womb was purpose to give birth. So it holds life there. So you may not be pregnant with a child, but you're giving life to hate. You're giving life to unkindness. You're giving life to not having peace. You're giving life to those things that aren't allowing you to move forward. So the message that I want to get out about unforgiveness is we've got to search our hearts. We have to search our hearts and see where there's any unforgiveness lying. And if there is unforgiveness resting in there, then you have to find with everything within you to move that off of you so that you can experience the light that can come into you and allow you to see things in a different perspective. The unforgiveness that you're holding towards someone or a certain situation, that may never change. So do you want to hold on to that for the next five or 10 years and not have good health and not have great relationships and not have the abundance that um, we were born to experience. So the message I want to leave with you today that I'm weighing in on is how long are you going to allow unforgiveness to dictate the progress that you should be making in your life? How long are you going to allow that unforgiving heart? Because we talk about an unforgiving heart and the heart is pumping blood to Every part of our body, every bit of blood that comes through us has to cycle through the heart. So if your heart is unhealthy and your heart is unclean and your heart is unforgiving, then you're pumping all of that back out into your system, to your eyes, to your ears, to your brain, to, to your organs. Let's cleanse that heart out so that it will start generating the blood and the purpose that we are supposed to become. So I don't know what nugget you will get from this message, but I hope that you'll get something from it. So there's a couple of things I'm hoping that you'll do. First of all, I hope that you open your heart and your mind to, to hear and to receive and say, I don't have any unforgiveness. No, yes, we all do. And we have to search. And sometimes it's that little small spark, that little small ember that can start a flame. So there's something you're, you're holding on to that you feel that you, you can't um, forgive. Second, you know, open your heart. Then, then second, you know, go ahead and forgive. Forgive so-and-so, forgive the situation. You know, sometimes people just don't know better and sometimes they do, um, but we can't hold them to that. We have to heal ourselves. And then third, share this video, subscribe to my page. Y'all quit playing, quit acting like I ain't throwing nothing at y'all. <laughs> y'all have a marvelous day. Take care, it's your girl Miss Straight Talk. Take care.